Hello friend and welcome to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make this presentation in PowerPoint. I believe if you show this kind of presentation to your boss or your teacher, if they're normal human, they will give you higher score than before. Believe me. So how are you gonna make it? First of all, I want to insert two vertical grid and two horizontal grid. I put the grid on every edge of the slide. This grid can be guide to help me differentiate any object inside or outside the slide. Now, go to insert, picture, and choose one from your files. Zoom out a little bit, click and drag it so the picture can fill all of the slide. Here, I'm going to make sure if the picture is good for background. So format picture, click on photo icon and reduce the sharpness by minus 30%. Alright, click on crop and now I'll crop this picture so that it fits to 69 slide ratio. Now click on insert text box. I want to make a title so I type hashtag save the trees, add a little bit of bold and text shadow, increase the font size and choose one font for the title. Select and block the text again and change the color to light green. Insert another text box. Here below the title, you can put your team name or company name, whatever you want, then change the font, color, and the text size. I'll add something on the corner, so I click on insert, another text box, and then I type this channel name. By the way, don't forget to subscribe guys. Slide 1 is done. Now right click and make a new slide. In format background, choose picture and select one from your device. By the way, I got this background picture from Pexels. I'll put the link on the description. I'll add something in the corner. So I go to insert tab, click on picture and choose PNG image from my files. All we need to do is just make sure the PNG files cover some corner part. When one is done, duplicate it and drag it to another corner. Rotate it horizontally and adjust the position just a little bit. We do the exact same thing for the bottom corner of the slide. Duplicate it, rotate it, and then adjust the position, just like that. Now, you want to add another decoration. So go to Insert tab, Shapes, and click on Rounded Rectangle. Draw it on top of the circle. I zoom in a little bit so we can see the detail. Click and drag on yellow dot to make the edge rounder. Don't forget to get rid of the shape outline and change the color to green. I zoom it out back so we can see the slide looks like. Now you wanna add text, so go to insert tab and click on the text box. Draw the box on the middle of the slide. By the way, in this case, I already have my text prepared so I just paste it. Slide 2 is done. Right click on the slide 2 and duplicate it. Now in slide number 3, drag and move a little bit the PNG decoration on every corner. Click on text on the middle and drag it up while holding shift key. Now you need to insert a rounded rectangle shape, draw it, then put it on the middle, duplicate it and distribute the rectangle horizontally. Select all of the rectangle and get rid the outline. Alright, by the way, this rounded rectangle is gonna be something like media to put your images. Let's insert arrow icon from files, make sure it has PNG format, make it smaller and put it on bottom side of the slide. After you get the best position, duplicate it, move your arrow position a little bit and flip it horizontally. Select and block both arrow and change the color to green. So now it looks like previous and next icon, something like we've seen a lot on the internet. Now right click on rectangle on the left, click format shape here in solid fill option, change the color to light green. For rectangle on the middle, click on insert picture and choose one from your files. Here I make the image smaller, right click, send it backwards until the image appears behind the rectangle. Select and block the image and the rectangle. In shape format tab, click on merge shape option and choose intersect. Alright, the second picture is done. Now we're moving on to the third picture. Just like before, insert a picture from your files, move and drag it a little bit so that it can fit to the rectangle. Again, right click and send it backwards until you see the image behind the rectangle. Select and block the object, go to shape format, click on merge shapes and choose intersect. Select and block all of the rectangles. Here in format picture, there's a shape icon, click on shadow. And as you can see here, add a little bit of shadow to those rectangles. 
first rectangle still looks empty. So let's go to insert, click on 3D models. Here, we're gonna do some online search. So type tree on the search bar, and now we got the collection of 3D trees. Choose one model that fits to your presentation. Now, put it on top of the rectangle. Slide 3 is done. Right click on the slide option, then duplicate it. In slide 4, delete all of the object except something related to the first rectangle. Zoom out a little bit, then click and drag the rectangle to fill it all over the slide. While holding shift key, click all of the PNG object on the corner, then right click and send it to the front. Alright, now adjust the position just a little bit. You wanna do something for the tree over there, so zoom in so we can see the detail. Now transform and adjust the position of the tree to make it bigger. In 3D model, if you click on the center and drag the mouse, you'll be able to rotate the 3D. So adjust the position as you wish. Go to insert, shapes, here I'll draw a straight line beside the tree. Change the line color and add some weight. For more decoration, I'll insert a circle shape and then put it on tip of the line. Get rid of the shape outline and then change the color to green. Duplicate the circle and then move it to another tip of the line. I'm gonna add some text boxes for this slide. Just like I've said before, I already have the text prepared in my clipboard. So here I'm just paste it. For description text, I add another text box and then paste it. Just like that by the way don't forget to adjust the size of your text all right guys the fourth slide is done let's zoom out to see how it looks like now right click on the slide 4 and then duplicate it believe me guys after you've done this fifth slide everything will be much easier here i move the object on the corner a little bit also delete the text and some unnecessary object move the tree to the middle and rotate it just a little bit. Here, I'll insert two horizontal lines besides the tree. Make sure the line color is green. By the way, don't forget to hold shift key while draw the line. It can help you to make sure if the line is in straight position. I zoom in a little bit so that you can see the detail. All right, now go to insert shapes and then insert the circle. Remove the outline and then change the color to green. Duplicate it and then put another circle on the right side. Alright, it's time for the text. This is very easy step. You just want to insert some text boxes, choose your phone and then type your text down. Just like that. Right click on the slide 5 and then duplicate it. Delete all of the unnecessary object and then move all of the PNG decoration on the corner just a little bit. Alright, now click on the 3D object and then rotate it. Now move it to the right side of the slide. Let's zoom in. Okay, in this slide, just like before, I also add line and those green circles. You wanna insert text again. So go to insert tab and click on text box. Draw the text box and then paste it. Let me adjust the position a little bit to make it look more appealing. So slide 1 to 6 is done. Believe me, next step will be much easier than before. As you can see here, you still don't have the transition yet. So go back to slide 2 and then click on transition tab, then choose push transition. Now go to slide number 3 and then click on move transition. Here I change the duration to 0.75 second. Go to slide 4, click and block the selection until slide 6. Click on move transition, then change the duration. In evac option, click on character. So now, if you look at it in preview mode, everything will look something like this. Pretty cool, right? Before we move on to slide 7, let's go back to slide 3 for a while. Zoom in, I wanna adjust the length of this rectangle shape. Alright, now right click on slide 3 and duplicate it. Drag the newer slide to the last, and also for this last slide, you also duplicate it. In slide 8, Delete all of those unnecessary objects except corner decoration. Here, we're gonna focus on this second rectangle. So now, go to picture format, click on crop. Here, you need to drag this picture bigger so that it can fill all of the slide. Delete every leaves on the corner. Now, go back to slide 7, copy the rounded rectangle on the top, and then paste it in the slide 8. Change the shape color to white. For those arrow on the bottom side, change it to white as well. It still looks empty, so I want to insert some icon. Just like before, go to insert tab, click on picture, and then choose one PNG format from your files. Here, I'm gonna put it on the left side of this photo. Right side still look empty, so I'll add another icon as well. 
for the text, insert another text box and type your text. For me, I just paste it. While holding shift key, click and block every text and object on each side and then group it. So now we have two group of objects. For the first group, go to animation and add float in animation. In animation pane, right click and start with previous. Adjust the transition to 0.75. Now for the second group, I also do the same thing, but in animation pane, I make it start on click. For slide 7, duplicate it and put it on the last order. Here I'm going to focus to the last picture, so duplicate the last slide. Delete every object except the third picture. Now I'll make the picture bigger, so go to picture format, click on crop and drag it to make it fill all of the slide. Alright, let's zoom in a little bit, insert one text box, here I'm going to paste the text. Go to insert again, click on shape, then draw a rectangle. Duplicate the rectangle to 3 and distribute it vertically. Alright, I wanna put picture on this rectangle, so I go to insert picture and then choose one from my device. Drag the picture so it can fit to the rectangle, right click, send it to back, then block the picture and rectangle all at the same time. In shape format, click on merge shape and then choose intersect. If it still looks behind the layer, right click and bring it to the front. Okay, for those second and third pictures, I'll do the exact same thing I did to the first picture. While holding shift key, select and block every picture and add float in animation. Shorten the duration to 0.75 and make the animation appear by click. If we go to preview mode, everything will look something like this. Much better than plain traditional slides, alright? I think it can improve your presentation quality. By the way, if you have question, feel free to ask in the comment section. I hope this tutorial can help you guys. Goodbye.